Okay, this video is uh, to learn how to use or change a username and a password in Facebook uh, so that uh, overall change everything in it. So let's go ahead and get started. So you want to go into your cPanel instance, and um, which is right here, <clears throat> and you want to click on uh, PHP My Admin right here. When you, when you do that, you're going to be taken to this page here. All you have to do is open up this bar. And then it'll open up all this here. And you're going to look for where it says WP Users, this part right here. And you're going to select it. So click on it. It will open up this section right here. And then all you have to do is go right here where it says Edit. And you want to click on the word Edit. When you click on the word Edit, it's going to open it up. And when you open it up, you're going to see the old username or the current username right here. And you're going to see what's called the nice username right here. Those are the same, and all you have to do is just put those in there, put the first one in, the way that you're going to actually spell it with uppercase, lowercase, and copy it, and then just paste it in here. It's going to go all lowercase here. And then uh, what you're going to do is you're going to select the go, okay, and that will save it. Once it's saved, you've actually changed the default username that is locked in into a WordPress instance as the admin user, the first user. It's locked in. The first one, you can't adjust it when you're in WordPress. Well, this is where you fix that, and you can change it out. So once that's done, then all you have to do is go back into your WordPress instance. And uh, go back into your WordPress instance right here. Go into the user's profile, and then your user profile. And when you do that, you'll come to the primary admin user. And then all you have to do is go in here. If you look right here, this is what the previous one was. And that's my email address. And so uh, what you want to do is you just want to go ahead and log in and log out with the new instance information. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to log out of this thing. We'll log out. Yeah, and I'll log out there. So I'm logged out of it now, and I'm going to go ahead and log back in. And I'm, I put the username and password in the system already, so it should log back in. Uh, let me do that. We'll log back in. Now we're logged in. We know it does work. And then all we have to do is just go back to under uh, users here and go to your profile. And you'll notice that it's changed, the user profile. Okay. So you know it worked once it did that. And then all you have to do after that is go down here and generate a new password for the password portion. Now up here, you did the username portion that I showed you a minute ago. And then what you want to do is go down here and generate the password. So you click on the generate. It will generate a password for you. You can accept it and then update profile. Once you do that, it's going to be updated. And uh, you'll be good to go with a new username and password for this instance. That's how you do it. Take care. Hey, this is Steve. Thanks for watching my video. Be sure to go to my website, trustedwebsitedeveloper.com, where you can get some information on me. And if you need a website built or you need some corrections done on a WordPress website, you can always get get a hold of me. Also check out my reviews on uh, on fiverr.com forward slash S B L I N N I N and uh, you can get a consultation from there as well from me. Uh, have a great day and I look forward to delivering more information to help everybody, everybody uh, um, understand WordPress as well as other things and uh, and have a better life. So have a great day. Take care.